Example number one. Calculate the effective nuclear charge of 4s and 3d electron in iron. Atomic number of iron is 26. We have to calculate the effective nuclear charge for 4s and 3d electrons. Iron they have given atomic number is 26. The first step is you have to write the electronic configuration in the above order. I have written the electronic configuration. Now, the effective nuclear charge will be different for different electrons. Meaning, if I find out for 4s, it is different. For 3d or 3s or 3p, it will be different. So now, how to calculate it? Let us find out it for 4s electrons. When I say 4s electron, the 4s electron is known as reference electron. Why is it reference electron? Because for this electron, we are finding the screening constant. First step is we are finding the screening constant now. Reference electron is a s electron. Therefore, we have two different rules. For s and p, one set of rules are there. For d and f, there are different set of rules. So, we have to follow the rules for s and p. Now, reference electron is 4s. In 4s, there are two electrons, out of which one of them is a reference electron. Remaining one is left out. Now, Slater constant sigma is equal to, sigma is equal to, apart from the reference electron, this is the highest principal quantum number. Apart from the reference electron, electron in the same shell will be 1. Because out of 2, I have chosen 1. Remaining is 1. So, 1 into electron in the same subshell as it of the reference electron will contribute 0.35. Each electron is 0.35. We know that the highest principal quantum number is 4. Right? When I say n minus 1, n minus 1 is nothing but the principal quantum number 3. There are 3 orbitals with uh, principal quantum number 3. The number of electrons will be 6 plus 6, 12. 12 plus 2 is 14. So, 14 into the contribution of n minus 1 electron will be 0.85. Plus, remaining all electrons. Don't go for the principal quantum number. Remaining all electrons. When I say remaining all electrons, 2s and 1s. See, we don't have different rule for n minus 2 and n minus 3. We just say that it's n minus 2. n minus 2 means remaining electrons in the given subshell. The remaining electrons will be 10. So, it will be 10 into, it will be 10 into, 10 into 1. Contribution will be 1. If you can simplify it, you get 22.25. Therefore, effective nuclear charge, Z effective is equal to Z minus sigma, Z is 26, minus 22.26, you get 3.75. This is for 4s electron. Now, we shall start with the next uh, electron that is 3d. For 3d, 3d electron, d is a reference electron now. d electron is a reference electron. When I consider D, we should not include this 4s. We should not include this. Why we should not include? Uh, because later constant is applicable for inner electrons. So, 4s becomes outer electron for 3D. Reference electron is a D electron. Let us start with the same rules. Now, electron in the same subshell as that of the reference electron will contribute the same thing that is 0.35. How many electrons are there? Don't go for the principal quantum number. You know that D, 3D, no? So, this is one group is made. Therefore, sigma is equal to out of 6 electron, 1 electron is a reference. Remaining is 5. So, therefore, it is point, um, 5 into 0.35 plus remaining all is n minus 1. In uh, D and F uh, rules, there are no n minus 1, n minus 2, n minus 3. Only the reference electron and the remaining all electrons are n minus 1. Remaining all means it's uh, 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6. It's nothing but 18. So, it's 18 into 1. 
you get 17.19.75 therefore z effective is equal to z effective is equal to z minus sigma that is equal to 26 minus 19.75 that's equal to 6.25 look at the difference for for us it is different effective nuclear charge even for 3d it is different so for n minus uh, for d electron only electrons in the same shape will contribute 0.35 remaining all is 1 that's simple for snp electron in the same uh, subshell will will contribute 0.35 n minus 1 will be 0.85 and remaining all electrons will be 1, 1 unit each.